So most of you may have heard by now that there's a uh, Canada-wide trucker rally going on where truckers from all across Canada are making their way to Ottawa to protest various things. So looking around the internet last night, I come to find out it's not just Canada. It's USA, it's Brazil, United Kingdom, Spain, all over the place. All of these truckers are getting together and they're driving in convoys and protesting. I'm right now in Combra, Ontario, where the rally is starting here. All the truckers are still coming out of Windsor, which is about 20 minutes west of here, and they're all making their way here. And they have a lead vehicle that's gonna run them down the highway, eastbound down 401, heading towards Ottawa, and they're also picking up truckers as they go along. There are cars and trucks showing up by the loads here. I mean, it's going to be standing room only, and it's cold. It's minus 11 right now. It was minus 13 or 14 when I left the house. All right, so as you can see, Comber area is packed. They just said on the radio that uh, 200 trucks were just leaving Windsor. And they're going to meet up with other trucks along the way in Chatham and London. It's pretty big here, and I know it's bigger, even bigger across Canada. So I'm going to make my way down to the on route westbound.
to give you guys a bit of an update. It's been a uh, probably about a half an hour now. I was getting off the 401 to try and get ahead of the convoy so I can kind of get on the overpass and show you what's coming. As it turns out, the biggest portion of the convoy was going by, so I got back on the 401, got ahead of it. However, I made it to almost Bloomfield Road, which is a major exit, and uh, it turns out there's an accident there. So here we are. We've been at a dead stop on the 401 for probably about uh, 30 minutes now. Kinda is what it is. So we're all just sitting here three deep, waiting to get through. I'm probably two kilometers away from getting off this highway. I guess we'll just wait and enjoy the scenery. And by scenery, I mean this truck beside me. That's all I got. All right, guys, time for your 30 minute update. Same truck. We're still not going anywhere. Uh, so according to the radio, what they're saying is that a four wheeler fell off the back of a truck, hit a couple of cars, um, three are injured, at least one is critical. Um, my wife, Jen, happens to be, like I said, a few kilometers, well, maybe a half kilometer behind me. Uh, she says they're starting to turn cars around back there, which means they're going to be shutting down the 401 completely. Problem is, there's a ton of cars back there. I'm going to be here a while. I'll update you in a bit. 11.30. 11.30. Back with another 30-minute update. Same truck. We are going nowhere. All right, guys, it's only 20 minutes later this time, not 30 minutes. Still the same truck, but some of the traffic up front is starting to turn around and come back on the shoulder. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to get turned around here and start heading back the other way. Kind of seems to be what's going on. I did get a report from Tyler, who's on a side road over here. Uh, told me that not too far behind me, they were backing the trucks up the highway and turning some cars around, so. Hopefully I get out of here soon. All right, time for an update. As you can see, we are moving. We got turned around just a second ago, uh, went westbound and eastbound lanes, and then crossed over to the westbound lane. I'm heading back towards home. What a mess.